बाबा कल्याणी चेयरमैन भारत फोर्ज एट नेफ एक्सपो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी Let's hear it from the chairman himself about his vision of Bharat Forge in the defense sector in the coming years. You know, ever since uh, Honorable Prime Minister set up this whole uh, Make in India uh, strategy in December of 2014, where uh, defense was uh, a key part of that uh, whole Make in India strategy, we have engaged ourselves uh, as a company. in creating products for the defense sector uh, traditionally anywhere in the world uh, or even historically if you look at uh, history uh, arms ammunition military hardware in the old days has always been made by people who are in the metals business or the forging business even right from the time they made swords and cannons and uh, those kind of things so for us uh, it's a natural transition especially this large pieces of hardware that you see outside uh, artillery guns uh, etc even small arms it's all uh, made out of metal forgings uh, machining so it's a very natural transition for us and uh, uh, we believe that uh, in many of these areas uh, as the government is uh, identified that 2025 india should become a net exporter of uh, defense products a target of uh, 5 billion dollars of exports has been set for the indian industry uh, instead of being an importer of defense products so net we should be exporting i think uh, these are the products that uh, will fit very well in the export uh, markets because a they are fully indigenous uh, they are 100% made locally and therefore we are very competitive in this product. Design it, we engineer it, we manufacture it, and now with the help of uh, the Ministry of Defence and the Army, we are able to also test it in their ranges. So, with all these capabilities, uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, as we have been in this now for almost six, seven years, uh, uh, we have grown in many new areas in the defence sector. Uh, some of the areas are uh, uh, the air defence system that we do in Hyderabad. Uh, We have a joint venture with uh, Rafael from Israel. It's a very sophisticated uh, weapon systems uh, with a lot of electronics, uh, guidance, uh, uh, seekers, etc. And uh, that's the new area that we are working in. Uh, we are working in microwave uh, technology. Uh, we are trying to uh, develop a technology that we see through walls. Uh, this is especially for internal security. You know, people are hiding in. Homes and you don't know whether they're carrying weapons, X, Y, Z. So we are creating that technology that uses a lot of artificial intelligence because you have to make a lot of algorithms to understand what the image uh, or uh, to convert the image into what it really is. So we have a, a pretty good AI group now uh, that's doing work. Uh, we also got a strong digital group, and you can see in our digital experience center. we are developing with some uh, uh, startup a uh, hollow suit uh, which is basically using uh, digital technology and artificial intelligence to remotely control uh, uh, with human gestures a robot uh, so all these kind of things are happening uh, and uh, i think uh, as we probably you know by the time we reach 2025 uh, we will have many more products today our classic products are artillery protected vehicles uh, air defense systems and uh, ammunition but uh, these are for any military the more cl- most classical products so they will remain but uh, i think more and more work is going to be done in the digital domain the domain using artificial intelligence and the domain using microwave technology laser uh, technology for communications and we are setting up uh, uh, you know small steps but sure steps in that direction and uh, the mous being signed at def expo 2020 could you give us the thrust and the direction of these mous well, we are signing several mous uh, yesterday we signed an mou with general atomics uh, general atomics is a very advanced uh, uh, technology company in the united states uh, they have many many products so we're going to make some some of their products uh, we are we are signing an mou with paramount uh, group in south africa uh, 
both on the land systems as well as uh, on air defense systems uh, today. Uh, we will be signing an MOU with uh, uh, a company from Bulgaria uh, in the area of ammunition. Uh, yeah, we have several other things. I mean, uh, our friends right next door, BAE Systems. Uh, if you go to their stall, you will find uh, uh, that they want to use our barrels and breech <laughs> for their M777, so we're sitting there with our name on it. So these are the kind of things that are happening. I think uh, slowly we are beginning to uh, uh, make a name for ourselves in terms of the products we make, the quality of our products, and there is a lot of interest. For the first time, I've seen tremendous amount of interest uh, from uh, people who want to buy our products from outside India also. We had a huge amount of uh, delegations yesterday uh, from the Middle East, from Africa, some from even Europe, uh, looking for products that they would like to buy from us. So this is kind of a major shift or change that we see from the earlier defense expo. The earlier defense expo, everybody was trying to sell new product or technology. Now I think uh, uh, there is a small shift. I, I wouldn't say it's a huge shift, but there is a small shift. But it's a very welcoming shift. Uh, later this month, uh, Bharat Forge will be going to the School of Artillery for the artillery uh, a seminar and exhibition. What is your message to the 400 artillery officers who will be seeing you and your equipment, particularly the artillery equipment? What should they be focusing on when they look at your artillery equipment? See, we, uh, we have tried to internally map out what we think our armed forces require, I think. And therefore, we have made uh, uh, the lightest artillery weapon. Uh, we actually have an artillery weapon. If you look at our 105 gun, that's 900 kilograms. Uh, and I don't think there is a 105 weapon anywhere in the world that's 900 kilograms. Similarly, uh, we are making an ultralight uh, 155 uh, gun, which will be uh, 3.7 tons in weight. So. Basically, I think the message I want to give is uh, we have tremendous technology, we know how to design, we know how to produce, we have now testing ability with the help of the armed forces and the Ministry of Defense. So if they tell us what they need, we can make it. And as uh, you know, General Rawat's famous uh, statement last year, uh, I'd like to fight uh, uh, Indian wars with Indian weapons. So, you know, we are one of those guys, uh, not the only one, but one of those guys who can make uh, fantastic Indian weapons. Uh, thank you for talking to Aymar and thanks for the service uh, to our country. Uh, wishing Bharat Forge great success in the years ahead. Thank you very much.